Welcome to this training about the engineering and commissioning tool, ABT site. Module 2. In this training we will cover the topics of create building structure, add devices, start up and communication, and finally some tips and hints. It will not cover the different product engineering tasks. For the specific products, you will find other detailed training modules on our MyLearning platform. The next tab we will have a look on is the Building tab. Use the Building component to create building structures and manage central functions and application templates. Creating Building Structure the building structure task allows you to structure the content of a building according to your project. It offers a number of elements, buildings and building elements. The building structure organizes individual rooms in a logical manner or by location, according to the building project. It is used to create a unique designation of all elements, object names. On the top tab we select Now Building, Adding a meaningful building structure will be essential to keep the overview in your project. In our example we add one building with four floors. The central functions task allows you to manage group masters and assign group members of a building. Grouping hierarchies can be created, modified and deleted. The group masters can be assigned to a hierarchy element and the group members can be assigned to their actual groups. As this task might be used with Dezigo Room Automation Controllers, please refer to the specific training modules. The Device List task lists all devices and its properties. You can change individual properties efficiently and perform uniqueness checks on a number of device properties. The Application and Device Overview task allows you to manage application templates and start the configuration component in order to create and modify application templates. Certificates Management The Certificates Management task allows you to manage the usage of operational certificates in ABT site projects. Please refer to the training module for the Certificates Management mentioned in the References section at the end. The Network Check task lists all devices and its network properties. You can change individual network properties efficiently and perform specific network checks. Startup and Communication Setup Now we move on to the Startup tab. The Startup component includes tasks for Device Discovery, Loading, Node Setup, Upload, Device Web Interface, and much more. We will focus on the connection dialog and the communication setup first. In the connection settings you can specify the type of connection to a device, also different targets in the network interface card. When you check this checkbox, you can include the discovery of the network already when you push connect. Once connected, the device discovery starts and displays the discovered devices in the right window. In the left window, you can see all your engineered devices. How to assign them to the discovered devices and configure properly, you will find in the online help in the chapter Start Up and Configure and Download. Now finally let us have a look on some tips and hints. Please note, have a look in the online help of the ABT site tool. It will guide you through all the different workflows and describe each function and the user interface in detail. ABT Site User Interface The ABT Site User Interface provides a frame which collects all ABT components, for example, building, startup, etc., in one window. The frame also provides common functionalities such as undo, redo, help, and a split view of different tasks, for example, building structure, application selection, within the same window. Archiving Projects you can archive any project for later reference or for sharing project data. The archive project can be restored in any ABT site installation. Restoring projects. Archived projects can be restored in any ABT site installation. 
The project archives must be placed in the archives directory which was defined during the installation of the ABT site tool. The project which was archived on the same installation will automatically be saved in the correct directory. When you receive a project archive from another installation, please make sure that you copy the archive to the archive directory. Projects created by a previous version of ABT site must be converted. You can recognize this by indication of this symbol near the project name. Open the project will initiate the conversion process. Please refer to the online help for further information and instructions for this topic. Adding devices. You can add the following devices in ABT site. Automation stations, such as PXC4, PXC5 devices. Operating and monitoring devices, such as touch panels and web servers. Routers and gateways, such as bus interface modules. Devices based on application templates, such as DXR2 intelligent valves. There are different possibilities to add devices in ABT site. You can add them via device type or via application template. Please find further information in the online help. For the application type workflow, please refer to the training module for the ABT site project workflow mentioned in the references section at the end. Finally, we will have a look on two functions, which might be required after all engineering and commissioning is done. This are the report function and the data exports functionality. To create a report, select at least one building, building element, device or hierarchy element. Right-click the selected elements and select Create Report. In the dialog, choose between a single device or all devices in the project. You may preview now the created report. How to create data exports. Select a device or a building element containing a device. Right-click and select Create Export. The Create Export dialog opens. Choose the type of content to export. The exported data can be used for different purposes, like management stations, EDE files or others. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.